Okay, so 65% says positive something and 30% say negative something. Signs are going to be really, really important here, okay? And we'll, we'll say a little bit more about this as we go along. But it's really important to get the signs correct. And so let's work out what the path should be and what, what the sign should be. Uh, the path, really step one in any of these problems is draw the path. Draw the vector from the initial point to the final point. And step two is draw the electric field, but it's given to us in this case. So what's the path? It points from where to where? From B to C. So I draw a path vector, maybe just a path or a dotted line that has an arrow, from B to C. Okay. So I can calculate what this path vector is by saying what? What's going to be the path vector? C minus B, right? Final minus initial. So 2, 0, 0 minus 2, 2, 0 meters. And we get 0, negative 2, 0 meters. Okay, it has a negative Y component. It's pointing downward. All right? The dot product says, or the, the, the change in potential is the negative of the dot product of, those, of the electric field and the path vector. So we have a negative out front. We have an electric field that is 0, negative 300, 0, newtons per coulomb, dotted with 0, negative 2, 0 meters. And so I have a negative multiplying 0 times 0 gives me 0, plus negative 300 times negative 2 gives me 600 plus 0. But I have this negative sign out front, so this is a negative 600, and the units are volts. And unfortunately, the abbreviation for volts is V, which looks like the same symbol of, as the quantity, but we'll just have to deal with it. So it's negative. Negative uh, 600 volts, answer 6 is correct. Okay, so you've got to be a little bit careful about directions and signs here, because they're going to be extremely important.